Right now at 6, the vote stands. After a recount, John Siegel is set to become La Crosse County's new sheriff. And a heads up for Rotary Lights fans. City police want everyone to know the new traffic pattern around the park. You're watching WKBT La Crosse. This is News 8 Now at 6. Good evening, everyone, and thanks for joining us for News 8 Now at 6. I'm Ken Kozarowski. Amy is off. The recount for the La Crosse County Sheriff race is over. Republican candidate Fritz Leinfelder lost to Democrat John Siegel by 175 votes. Leinfelder filed a recount, but only in certain wards. News 8 Now's Dua Esrar was at the recount where things got off to an unsteady start. Good evening, Dua. Ken, there were more, there were some disagreements and concern over the large number of recount observers. Republican candidate Fritz Leinfelder says he was exercising his constitutional right and encouraged trust in the election process. Envelope after envelope, ballot after ballot. And the winner remains the same. And we had 398. Democrat John Siegel will be the next sheriff of La Crosse County. Earlier this week, Republican Fritz Leinfelder filed a petition for a recount. Candidate who lost the election by less than 1% has the right under the statutes to ask for a recount. Leinfelder lost by 0.32% of the votes. His campaign asked for a recount of 13 of the 26 wards in La Crosse County. Leinfelder's campaign felt voter turnout was extremely high in those wards. So those are wards where a lot more people voted than were previously registered prior to the election. One of the reasons voter turnout can be higher than usual is because of same-day registration. Siegel's attorney filed an objection to only recounting some of the wards. We believe that this sort of a recount um, under recent case law is unconstitutional. Leinfelder's attorney disagrees. Everybody has limited funds and then they have to look at, at uh, wards where for whatever reason they, they believe that the technical deficiencies or whatever may have occurred. This machine says. Multiple observers from both parties arrived to watch the process. When it started, tensions were high over disagreements about pictures. I'm just trying to be clear here. It's very simple. So we wanted to take pictures primarily of the lists of late registrations because we had asked for those and it looked like that was going to be denied. So it looked like that might be our only avenue to get those would be trying to take the pictures. Um, the sort of intensity of the photo taking was uh, maybe concerning, only in that it was, uh, I think, causing the workers to work a little bit more slowly or be distracted. La Crosse County Clerk Jenny Dankmeyer told both parties she would provide hard copies of the late registrations. When it was over, Siegel gained two votes. Leinfelder gained one, not nearly enough to overcome his 175-vote deficit. Still, Leinfelder thanked election staff for their work, but did not concede. We wanted to make sure that we had a, a full and accurate count. Um, we're going to continue uh, uh, through this process, through our constitutional right, yeah, to make any object, objections uh, from here on out. Leinfelder has until tomorrow to object the results of the recount. If he does not object, La Crosse County Clerk Jenny Dankmeyer can move forward with certifying those results. All right, thanks very much, Dua. Leinfelder paid more than $6,000 for that recount. He thanked the La Crosse County clerk and said the election was fair. Let's switch it up, T talk some uh, cold, frosty temperatures with Chief Meteorologist Bill Crawl. Yeah, cold indeed. Uh, check out these high temperatures today. Only in the upper teens over parts of southeastern Minnesota. The rest of us in the uh, 20s. But this 25 was actually at about 1 o'clock this morning here in La Crosse. Now, chance for some more snow showers as another weak disturbance uh, moves through. That'll be after midnight. Breezy and cold right through the weekend, especially tomorrow. Uh, in fact, wind chills at times in the single digits above and below zero. So there's the flurries that we dealt with today. Some partial clearing right now, but then another disturbance up upstream, so to speak, with some uh, clouds and scattered light snow showers or flurries. That's what's going to move into the area uh, overnight tonight. Current temperatures are chilly. Uh, teens, mid to upper teens for most, couple of 20s down to the south around Prairie du Chien. So if you're heading out for dinner or any other act outdoor activities this evening, uh, make sure you dress accordingly. Again, chance of light snow showers after midnight, lows in the teens, but wind chills in the single digits. And your weekend forecast, another
another unseasonably cold day tomorrow. Maybe some lingering flurries, isolated snow showers, a high of 22. Not quite as cold on Sunday, uh, 10 degrees warmer, in fact, with highs around freezing, but that's still below average. The rest of my eight-day forecast in just a few minutes. All right, thanks, Bill. Rotary lights is something everyone looks forward to each holiday season, but if you're planning on driving through the lights, there are going to be some changes this time. The entrance and exit to the park will now be from the southern side. If you're already coming from the southern end of La Crosse, turn onto Division Street and then turn north on Front Street to get to the park. So if you're coming from the north side, you can make that turn on Division from 3rd Street. And if you're coming from Minnesota, turn right off the bridge and make another right on Division. La Crosse Police will have signs guiding drivers to the Front Street entrance. And Rotary Lights opens a week from today, the day after Thanksgiving. It is free to enjoy, but Rotary will take food pantry and cash donations. Transportation, it's something we often take for granted. And one Wisconsin organization knows this. 1,000 Friends of Wisconsin and the University of Wisconsin La Crosse are are partnering up to offer a new course. It'll help students advocate for safe and accessible transportation because it's a huge part of daily life. All of us are pedestrians at some point. A lot of people take the bus. And so this is, affects our everyday lives, whether we want to be involved or not. The 10 week course will be free and open to anyone in the community. It'll start in February. We've got more information on news8000.com. Cooley Cap is giving small business owners a chance to sell their goods in downtown La Crosse. This opportunity means a lot. It gives uh, my business a lot of opportunity to grow and expand. And Cooley Cap's new business incubator is looking for more applicants to fill up what they're calling the Collective on Main. Small business owners can set up in the retail space. Rent is incremental and starts at zero, so sellers can build up cash flow before paying for the space. The idea is that as their rent grows, their revenue also increases. So that the, by the time that they graduate from the program, they should be pretty self-sufficient and ready for their own space. People in the space can stay for a full 12 months. They get help on site from Cooley Cap leaders. There are four people already who've started, but the space can hold up to 10 businesses. We'll post more information about the incubator and how to apply on our website. A Monroe County organization is making a generous donation to prevent hunger. The Toma Health Community Foundation is donating $3,000 to Second Harvest Food Bank's Food Share program. The program helps Monroe County families by connecting them to Food Share and providing people with warm meals. In the last year, the foundation has donated more than $100,000 in Food Share benefits. Second Harvest employees say they couldn't help families without the foundation. We couldn't do what we do without the support of uh, whether it's volunteers or uh, foundations like Toma Health. Uh, it gets us out into the community and brings that education awareness. That foundation has been helping the community for 32 years. A long-standing La Crosse County tradition is underway. The Salvation Army's Coats for Kids campaign distributed more than 2,500 coats to kids of all ages today. Now, Quick Trip partners with the Salvation Army for this effort and has been offering several of its stores as coat collection sites. Organizers say these donations are critical. It's pretty awful to think about people being cold throughout the winter, so we really want to get these coats out and distributed to kids throughout the community. And any coats that weren't given away today will be available through the clothing closet. Still ahead tonight at 6, working towards self-sufficiency. We catch up with a Project Search student while he learns new job skills at Gunderson. And later, say it ain't snow, Mount Lacrosse turns on the blasters to begin blanketing the slopes for ski season. Lane's Farm and Fleet is where wishes come true, carrying quality name brand products at fair and honest prices. Start saving now during our pre-Black Friday sale. Get Black Friday-like deals in every department while supplies last. Like up to 75% off these special buy blankets, just $14.99. Save over 30 bucks on a Presto Pizza Pizzazz, and these men's and women's Carhartt sweatshirts are 25% off. Plus, get a free Toyland semi-truck with a $60 toy purchase. Find value at Farm and it's Ford SUV season. Time to gear up for changing conditions on and off-road. Get great deals on our most capable lineup of Ford SUVs, including Ford Explorer and Bronco Sport. Both rated 2022 IIHS top safety picks and both designed to give you greater confidence. Hurry, Ford SUV season will end soon. Now get 3.9% financing for 60 months plus 1,000 retail order bonus cash on a 2022 Ford Explorer and Bronco Sport. Only at your Northland Ford dealers. Wisconsin is a home of workers. We know it needs to get done, and we do it. Yet, we've been hit hard. 
some harder than others. Our contact may be limited, but we still can lift each other up. The Keep Wisconsin Warm Cool Fund and your local energy providers are working together to help keep your heat and power on. You may not ask for it, but we want you to know we're here. Hey, do you want to join our rewards program? Collect hot dog points to unlock access to our VIP lounge. That doesn't seem very... Rewarding. With a BMO Savings Builder account, you get a cash reward for every month you save. Wait, so you're going to reward me for saving my own money? You got it. A little incentive to help you get into the habit of saving. That sounds great, but do you have VIPs? Yeah, absolutely. We call them customers. When a bank helps you make real financial progress, that's the BMO effect. A lacrosse hospital is helping young adults with developmental and intellectual disabilities work towards self-sufficiency. And as our own Amy DuPont found out, make dreams come true. No matter our age or ability, most of us want to be independent. This part um, is my favorite because it's a uh, blanket, blanket blaster. Anthony Zhang is on his way. Get working and get faster paid. Thanks to Project Search. Thank you. We focus very heavily on teaching them all of those skills that they can't necessarily learn at school. <laughs> High school students with developmental and intellectual disabilities spend a full year training at Lacrosse's Gunderson Health System. They learn employment related communication skills in a classroom and intern with several Gunderson departments. Pillowcases and bath towels and baby blankets. Anthony enjoys working in laundry services. Once he graduates from Project Search, Anthony and his classmates can apply to Gunderson for full-time work. So I can get this job. Currently, uh, with our staff, we probably got 20 to 25 percent of our current staff have come through Project Search. Thank you for the program. For Anthony's family. Well, I saw power, huh? Project Search is far more valuable than a paycheck. Yeah. I watched him grow with the program. It's helped really, really helping him. It's an opportunity to be independent. Which gives them that feeling that we all want, right? We want to earn money. We want to have some say in our life. We want to develop that independence and be a, a, an adult. A dream Anthony's family believes through this program. Uh, he's going to make it. Will come true. He's going to. In La Crosse, Amy DuPont, News 8 Now. Anthony is from Holman, but Project Search accepts students from all area high schools. We posted a link to more information at news8000.com. Still ahead this evening, snow hitting the slopes of Mount Lacrosse. Plus, area schools welcome home their football teams after some trips to state championships. And I'm Chief Meteorologist Bill Grawl on seasonably cold conditions. Unfortunately, going to stick around for the weekend. All the details with my eight day forecast up next. for Black Friday. Hot Buys up to 50% off. Plus, get a Tempur-Pedic mattress for only $56 per month. On Black Friday, the first 100 guests get four months free of Sirius XM streaming. And Mattress Gallery visitors can enter for a chance to win a free Tempur-Pedic mattress. Ashley. We cannot wait any longer. We need new appliances. The last 11% off sale is going on now. Save big money on your next project at Menards. Yeah, we need to add another bathroom this year. The last 11% off sale is going on now. Save big money on your next project at Menards. The power to change your future is now. The new F-150 is here. Be one of the first to drive the latest, most advanced, best-selling truck for the last 45 years. Custom order your F-150 today. Now, lock in 3.9% financing for 60 months plus $1,000 retail order bonus cash on a 2023 Ford F-150. Only at your Northland Ford dealers. There's power in the simplest of actions. Like one neighbor helping another. Where everybody looks out for everybody else. Community is everything to your electric cooperative. And we're grateful for your trust 
to provide the energy you need, giving you the power to power on. Touchstone Energy Cooperatives, your source for power and information. The Treehouse, treasures from the heart. The Treehouse Gifton Home on Alaska, treasures from the heart. Browse our large selection of unique Christmas gifts and decorations, some handcrafted gifts by local artists from right here in the Cooley region. Find that special gift to fully capture what's in your heart. The Treehouse Anniversary Celebration, November 17th through the 19th. Sign up for door prizes and shop specials throughout the store. I love this mattress. Mm-hmm. So, can I ring you up? We'll take it. Ashley's Black Friday Mattress Doorbusters are here. Fast, free shipping on Ashley's Sleep Queen mattresses. Plus, save $1,000 on select Sealy mattresses only at Ashley. You're watching News 8 Now. Expect more. It's about time to dust off those skis and get the snowboards ready for some snow action. Mount Lacrosse started making snow last night. Those snow guns ran overnight and will continue to run until temperatures rise into the mid 20s. Mount Lacrosse's general manager says the amount of snow laid down does make a big difference. We typically like to have a good four, five, six feet of snow on the hills um, just because they get so much use. People are on them. So um, that's what we like to have down before we actually open a trail. While no opening date has been set yet, the Mount Lacrosse hopes to open within the next couple of weeks. You can follow their snowmaking progress on their website. We have posted a link to say it with me news8000.com. Time to switch it up and talk about those unseasonably cold temperatures with Chief Meteorologist Bill Grawl. I know where uh, Mount Lacrosse could find four or five, even six feet of snow. <laughs> Buffalo, New York, uh, where the Bills play. My goodness. Uh, have you seen some of the images coming out of Orchard Park, uh, where their stadium is? Already uh, over four feet of snow, and it's not done yet, so it's no wonder that game was moved to uh, Detroit. Now, around here, boy, somebody flipped the switch to winter last Friday on the 11th. Look at that. Uh, since last Friday, high temperatures in the lower to middle 30s, so about 10 to 15 degrees uh, below average. And today was even colder. We've got a partly cloudy sky right now. 25 was the high. That's almost 20 degrees below average. 68 and zero are the records and just a trace of snow uh, with the flurries scattered about at times today. 19 degrees at the airport. Same with the uh, station here in downtown La Crosse, but it feels like six degrees, kind of a blustery wind continuing. Eau Claire, you're at 17 degrees with a wind chill of uh, three degrees. whoop de doo right? Uh, we are not alone. Look at all the teens, 20s all across uh, the Rockies and into the uh, central and northern plains and the Great Lakes and upper Midwest as well. Uh, again, 19 in La Crosse, Black River Falls and Winona, uh, 17 degrees in the Dells, 19 in Prairie du Chien, 15 for you folks in Viroqua. Winds out of the west southwest at about 10 to 20, gusting to about 25, and that's pretty Producing wind chills in the single digits to lower teens feels like one in Viroqua, even some negative numbers over parts of southeastern Minnesota. Wind chill tracker overnight showing wind chills in the single digits. Again, those wind prone areas a few degrees below zero. Tomorrow evening it gets even worse with uh, many spots dropping into the single digits below zero. And as you head out for uh, maybe church services on Sunday morning, still some wind chills in the single digits to lower teens. So we're getting rid of the flurries uh, that we saw today, but already hot on its heels is another week disturbance in the atmosphere. That's going to bring a chance for some light snow showers or flurries after midnight and into our Saturday. Sky Tracker will show that maybe by midnight up around Eau Claire in the Chippewa Valley. The rest of us overnight, uh, again, they'll be kind of hit and miss. Uh, just some lingering, very brief snow showers or flurries at times tomorrow, especially through about midday. Uh, partial clearing tomorrow night and then sunshine uh, returns at times as we head into the day on Sunday. You can see some of that there, but uh, still rather breezy conditions. So your zone forecast for tomorrow, again, another Another unseasonably cold day. Highs only around 21 or 22 degrees uh, in the La Crosse area, but uh, as we fly around the region here, upper teens to lower 20s. These would actually be pretty cold overnight lows for this time of year, let alone high temperatures for the day. Uh, up in uh, Eau Claire and Chippewa Falls, highs only in the upper teens. So for tonight, partly to mostly cloudy, that chance for some 
Scattered snow showers after midnight, 16 for the low, but wind chills in the single digits. So uh, be prepared for that if you're heading out and about this evening. 23 tomorrow, lingering flurries, maybe a brief light snow shower in spots. Continued cold and breezy. Wind chills dropping below zero late in the day and into tomorrow night with an overnight low of nine. Uh, not quite as cold Sunday and Monday back around freezing, but that's still short of average. Upper 30s to near 40, so a little bit of an improvement on Tuesday and Wednesday. And still watching some uh, unsettled weather, uh, not looking as impressed in terms of a storm system for Thanksgiving, but we'll have to keep an eye on it. So at least some light chances for light snow or flurries on Thanksgiving, Friday, and Saturday. But uh, we'll continue to keep a close eye uh, for all of you travelers for the holiday. All right, thanks a lot, Bill. Okay, let's get a little nostalgic here. So when I was in grade school, one of the best moments in a given day was when the teacher wheeled in that box television for maybe some kind of movie, or in my case on Friday mornings, reading Rainbow. Just visual entertainment was guaranteed, right? Well, today, West Salem schools are bringing in some visual entertainment of their own in the name of school spirit. Middle school staff brought out the big projector screens, and they set virtually every television in the building to Bally Sports Wisconsin for students to watch West Salem football play the state championship game at Camp Randall Stadium. Organizers say both the high school and elementary school did the exact same thing because a special event deserves a special occasion. This doesn't happen very often that we get to go to state, so we wanted to make sure that the kids that didn't get to make the trip with families got to have the chance to watch the game here at school. We'd be reading right now. <laughs> Is this better? Way better. <laughs> so it was West Salem's first trip to state since 2007. They took on undefeated Monroe. Rob will have more on the Panthers later on in sports. And it's a triumphant return to lacrosse for Aquinas football for a second consecutive season. They are D5 state champions. The school welcomed the team home with a victory pep rally to celebrate the eight-point win in Madison last night. Rob caught up with the team at that pep rally. And all that stories and more coming up next in sports. Visitors to our showrooms often say, I had no idea this place was so big with so many product displays. Stop by and wander through our eight buildings. See what you would love to do for your next home improvement. Taco John's Family Pack in a Pound is not just for families. It's also the Chillin' with the Crew Pack in a Pound. For just 19 bucks, this deal's tough to beat, no matter who you call family. The Family Pack in a Pound, only at Taco John's. Black Friday deals all month long during our huge Thanksgiving sale at Slumberland Furniture. Incredible prices, plus get 30% off on top of that store-wide. Come find your new sofa, sectional, or Lazy Boy recliner on sale. And we're still offering no interest for three years. 30% off and Black Friday deals all month long? Yes. And don't forget, mattress shopping is easy, fast, and comfortable. Come see our difference and get a great sale on a mattress today at Slumberland Furniture. News 8 Now and Dairyland Power Cooperative present Our Community Cares. Come celebrate the 28th annual Rotary Lights display at Riverside Park. Three million lights, live nativity, ice rink, and much more. Bring a non-perishable food item. The purpose of Rotary Lights is to feed the hungry of the Cooley region. The Hickson Family Holidays at the Hickson House. This memorable experience allows visitors to see the Hickson House decorated for a turn-of-the-century Christmas. For more information on these events or if you'd like to submit an event, visit news8000.com. Reserve your tickets, dust off your evening gown, and ring in the new year at the Vark Foundation's New Year's Eve Gala at the Cargill Room. You'll enjoy formal dining, dancing, unique auction items, and plenty of champagne. Get your tickets early for lacrosse's most exclusive New Year's Eve celebration. This year's proceeds benefit kids with disabilities in the lacrosse and surrounding communities. For more information or to order your tickets, go to varkinc.com backslash gala. Attend for the spectacle, stay for the cause. Order your tickets today. Feliz Navidad. Feliz Light up the Navidad. season with Nachos Navidad. Feliz Navidad. Prospero from the bottom of our hearts, happy holidays from Taco John's. Covering all of the exciting action from your community, here's News 8 Now's Rob Schiff. The Aquinas football team brought it to lacrosse last night. Today, it was West Salem. Title. But this year's squad was looking to change that. Division three state title game. One row and it's the Cheesemakers making taking the handoff, going up the middle for the score. Monroe, nothing. Cheesemaker run game was tough. Out our friend Cade Overton up the middle. That's Tucker Markham faking out the Panther defense. It's 14-0 Monroe. 
Next drive for the Panthers, Brett McConkey drops back, hits his man Brennan Kennedy. Kennedy can fly, going up the sideline, running past the Monroe defense before he's finally brought down. Panthers would be at the 10-yard line after the face mask penalty. Then on the very next play, West Salem runs the option. McConkey pitches it to Luke Knoll, jumps across the goal line. That puts West Salem on the board 14-7. But too many turnovers. Keysmakers control time of possession in the second half. West Salem falls for just the second time on the year. She's title 35-14. Disappointing way for the season to end, but Panthers head coach Justin Yane says he's proud of the way his team battled throughout the playoffs. You know, I think being the smallest D3 school to, to you know qualify for the playoffs here, um, we were the only group in a lot of weeks that believed that we could win, and you know that was huge for us. Well, the Blue Golds got a hero's welcome back in lacrosse on Friday. Cheerleaders, band members, students, and family members all celebrating the Aquinas football team, which won its second straight state title yesterday in Madison. The players soaking it all in as back-to-back -back state champs. The Blue Golds took down Mayville in the Division 5 championship game for the second straight year. Players and coaches say this feeling will never get old no matter how many state titles you win. And Aquinas head coach Tom Lee is giving all the credit to the guys on the field. It's them. Uh, players win games, uh, not you know, not coaches, not programs. Uh, culture helps, all that stuff helps. But players win games, and these are some of the finest players uh, in consecutive years that we've had come through. And these guys, uh, especially, were able to make their own identity, uh, and they they didn't let that uh, championship hangover uh, impact them at all. I mean, some mixed emotions here. You know, happy for Aquinas. They got the job done. It's an sure. awesome game. But I wanted to see West Salem be able to raise that trophy. Too. I know. It would have been great for the Cooley region to go 2-0 at yeah, State. Yeah, they had a great season. Nothing to hang their heads over. And Absolutely. And back next year for sure. And they made State in basketball. So this upcoming winter season, maybe it's they're back in fun. State for that, Absolutely. too. Absolutely. Can't wait. Thanks, Rob. You got it. We'll be right back to wrap things up. See the stories you missed or watch them again on our YouTube page or find us at news8000.com. It's Ford SUV season. Time to gear up for changing conditions on and off-road. Get great deals on our most capable lineup of Ford SUVs, including Ford Explorer and Bronco Sport, both rated 2022 IIHS top safety picks and both designed to give you greater confidence. Hurry, Ford SUV season will end soon. Now get 3.9% financing for 60 months plus 1,000 retail order bonus cash on a 2022 Ford Explorer and Bronco Sport, only at your Northland Ford dealers. Here's to the holidays. Here's to the casserole queens and Santa's who saute. To the turkeys brined in beer and, well, just beer. To the ones who do the most and the ones who do the least. To the classic traditions and whatever you call this one. This year, no matter how you holiday, Festival has you covered. Festival Foods, a Wisconsin tradition since 1946. Why get the updated COVID-19 vaccine? Because life's a little better when we're all boosted. It's the best way to protect yourself from COVID-19's most serious effects, especially if you're over 50 or have a weaker immune system. Give your health a boost. Find the updated COVID-19 vaccine near you at dhs.wisconsin.gov slash vaccine. Breezy and cold overnight. Temperatures could rise a little bit as those snow showers move in after midnight and unseasonably cold tomorrow, 22. Not quite as cold Sunday, a high of 32. All right, Bill, thanks so much, and thank you for joining us tonight at 6. We'll see you at 10.